Welcome back to VHS Talkers, everybody. Hi. Here we are with Black Adam. Hi. And there's a part in the movie where Black Adam is fighting Discount Satan, and he says something along the lines of, let's finish this. Uh, Dwayne, I asked for that about 10 minutes into this movie, if we're being honest. See, because it takes about 10 or 15 minutes for the actual movie to get started because we have to sit through one of the most annoying children on the face of the planet no. as they third grade level <laughs> read to us so narration long. as we watch a backstory. Uh, it didn't need to be a movie on its own. Apparently the original plan was to put him in the second Shazam movie. Of course, Dwayne Johnson's ego being Dwayne Johnson's ego said, no, I want my own movie. I've been attached to this for 15 years. Who knows why? It doesn't matter because here it is now. He got it made. He got it made. I wish he didn't. Honestly, it's a bad movie. I don't have any kind words to say about this. The best part about this movie is the mid credit scene, which of course I will mention at the end. And even then, I just didn't have any care in the world about that. Let's, let's get the plot out of the way, if you can even call it a plot. The entire movie, 80% of the movie, I, I'll say, uh, really revolves around saving a kid. I wouldn't even say that. I would say 80% of the movie is Hawk. And Black Adam bickering. Do you guys Literally remember only. in high That's school, it. or if you are in high school, you know those two guys on the football team, and they always <laughs> butt heads, and you know they're always fighting each other, but at the end of the day, they still have to be on the same the team, team, and they actually kind of work pretty well together? Yeah, well, welcome to Black Adam. Just give one of them a pointy helmet, and give the other one a cape, and boom, problem solved. This movie is just whack, man. It's so try-hard. So try-hard. The dialogue, what they think are cool one-liners, Nothing flows well. There's no flow to it. it. It's a shame because I get it. You know, I get that this was something that Dwayne's been really proud of and so excited to Which do. Which is good for him. That's great. He got exactly what Dwayne, he wanted. Dwayne, don't get me wrong, brother. I'm proud, man, that you were able to get this out there. Don't do it again. Give me Jungle Cruise, too. But the plot, it, it bounces around. It... In a nonsensical fashion. And, it, you know, when you're watching it, the Justice Society feels so forced in there just because they need to introduce it's more so heroes. It's so unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. And then, you know, instead of having us, like, find out who these characters are through meaningful conversations, <laughs> they literally just go down their dossiers like we're watching Suicide Squad again as they give us the backstory and then we find out their powers again. Flow like it doesn't It doesn't Suicide flow Squad well. No. Does Suicide Squad, whatever. It doesn't matter either one at this point. It the best part of the movie is Amanda Waller, let's just be honest. And she's only she's in, in there, there for, for like about two minutes. She's in there for like ten seconds. Oh, well, oh. Right. <laughs> Acting-wise... No one has ever accused Dwayne of being an Oscar or an Emmy award or a Teen Choice or a Kids Choice Award winner, honestly, Stop. or even a middle school. But round I of know applause. It, it, it just breaks my heart because I know he tried his hardest. I he did. know, it, it, I know he put so much I, love and passion into this, which I appreciate that love and passion. I won't give him all the blame. He will receive ninety percent of it, but the other ninety percent is going to go towards the. F***ing writers on this movie. You know what they pulled out? A middle finger and they flashed it to me. It's bad. The writing's bad. Nothing makes sense. I mean, we're watching one guy get shot point blank in the stomach in one scene and then in the next he's fighting these undead demon soldiers from hell, but he doesn't have any bullet hole or bullet wound. He's swinging around. He's fine. And, you know, we're hearing that these these heroes here are incredible. They have incredible power and, you know, nothing can stop them. And this hawk suit is made of, you know, an alien material. But yet, discount Satan is, is he's going to town on him and it's no big deal. Dr. Fate is supposed to be some kind of incredible sorcerer, unsupreme. And he ends up getting diced on by discount Satan And he again. does the same, like, three moves. Like, he doesn't really... He does, like, the Sharpie thing, and then, like, the... Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, as goofy as that <laughs> looks, it's as goofy as <laughs> it looks in the movie. Really you have a like. woman in there who can control wind... Cyclone. She she can do tornado moves. She's Twister, right? The movie with Bill Paxton? And then you have, uh... Discount Big guy. Batman yeah. slash Deadpool. As soon as I saw those eyes in Mo, I, I, I checked out almost immediately. It, you know, and I get it. it Again, I don't know if I can really blame all of the actors, although the girl that played Cyclone, girl, try. Just try. Try with what? Yeah, I mean, they're not with giving what? anything. The action scenes, we, we get five, six superhero movies a year. Now with Disney+, Plus, we get multiple TV shows and everything like that as well. So, you know, you have to do, you, you gotta get creative. You don't just have to think outside the box. You have to think about whatever shape that is outside of the box, crush it, and then make something else with it. This is basic stuff here. Hey, this is basic, boring stuff. Two guys, similar powers, beating each other up. 
it, there's nothing creative about it. The movie <sighs> lost itself, and so when it got to the final, like, big fight, you know, it just fell flat. We need to get past the point where we have a super guy and a super bad guy who have a similar power set fighting each other. I need something different. The first big time that we see Black Adam fight, of course, you know, he's tussling with the with the Justice Society. And see, this is WB's problem. They can't they can't get out of their own way to save their life. So, you know, about all the mess, of course, that's going on with WB and their movies, Ezra, and everything like that. So what do we get for our first like official fight between super guys? We get uh, Hawk Boy and Black Adam fighting in a kid's room who just happens to be a, another superhero fan, fan because that's not Billy Batson from Shazam. And as they're fighting and they're throwing punches and weapons, of course, there's posters of the Justice League on the walls and statues and everything like that. Try and, hard. And we're punching a hole through hard. Superman's face and punching a hole through Superman's chest. We're breaking a statue of Batman. We're slicing a, uh, a poster of the Flash. We get it. It wasn't even the first time that they did that. Because you remember the first time we did that when Black Adam woke up and he you know, Superman's face and then they had to re go back in the That's room and right. do it again. So yeah. it wasn't even... It wasn't the first time. It's really very, hitting it it's home. It's very egregious. You know, it's like we get it. You know, you're trying to push the past away. But guess what? We don't care anymore. Another thing that irritates me, um, I guess we're all officially trying to be like the Suicide Squad. Uh, or Guardians of the Galaxy. We got a we got an action scene. Cue the Kanye. You know, let, let's go. We got an action scene. Cue paint it black. Let's go. Let's have fun. What's that? Quicksilver had a slow down time scene. Let's roll it back and put Dwayne in there. <laughs> this is the best parts of so many better movies, as told by someone that doesn't understand why those parts work so well in context. I don't go to movies expecting to hate them. I do. Look at, look, look at what's behind me. There is stuff that is certified shit that I enjoy. I don't go to hate movies, especially if I have to use my own money to go see them. But I hate this movie. <laughs> I, on the way out, Mrs. Taco asked, do you plan on buying this? I don't think I let her finish <laughs> the sentence. I didn't look at her. I didn't break my stride. I said no. And I kept going to my car in the hopes that if I walked fast enough, someone could run me over and I could be done with this nightmare. It was exactly what I expected from the trailers, from everything there. It was exactly what I expected. And I expected low expectations, I guess. And it was exactly, it was just try hard. I went into it knowing it was going to be try hard and that it was just going to try hard. <laughs> and it tried hard. I told you we were going to come full circle with this, is the mid credit scene. So, Dwayne, D. Weezy, he's chilling there on a broken down throne because he's not a king of the people. The people rule themselves. Whatever, Dwayne, <laughs> shove it. Hero. And then, you know, there's this drone, and then bzz, there's Waller. You know, and she's like, oh, you know, can we trust you? Conduct is yours. You step outside them borders, we gonna kill you. No one can kill me. <laughs> Boom, blows up the drone. Yeah, well, here's the smoke. And what do we hear? We hear the Superman theme. <laughs> But not Henry's. We hear the Christopher Reeve Superman theme. And then here comes Henry oh. with the little curl. Oh. Superman is my favorite DC hero of all time. I love Superman. I, when, when Man of Steel came out, that was my so shit. Good. That and Captain America, the first Avenger, I held on a pedestal of cinema for time immemorial. I rolled my eyes. I know. I, I showed more. Can, guys, can you believe I showed more excitement than Mr. Taco. I was like, oh my god. I look over. He's like. Oh. Just, I didn't care. I didn't Not care. Enough. He didn't even flinch. I didn't, didn't care. Smile. You know what? He rolled his eyes. Henry Cavill did a great oh, job as Superman. I love fantastic. him as Superman. But you know what? The way that this whole just everything has been handled, it, it's just best to cut the losses and keep moving. Black Adam in theaters now. We saw it in Dolby. Don't see it in Dolby. See this on a discount Tuesday if you're so inclined to see it. I, you know, of but course. See it for yourself. Yeah, everybody has their own opinion. You know, I mean, you tune into us, the, the three of you, because you want to hear me be cynical. Well, I'm cynical on this one. If you had a chance to see it, if you plan on seeing it, you know, let me know down in the comments below what you thought. If you think this is the best movie ever, brother, I can't help you with that. And until next time, guys, this has been VHS Tacos signing off. Never seeing another DC <laughs> movie again. Adios. Bye.